All right, welcome back to Aaron's Garage. Today we're going to be doing some more mundane tasks. Today I'm going to be changing the oil in the Z. The main reason I'm going to be doing this is because I drive this thing every single day and it's been a little while since I've changed the oil. The other thing I'm going to be doing while I have it in the garage is I'm going to be greasing up all of the pivot points inside of the throttle linkage. Let's get to work. Both front and rear brake fluid are looking fine. I would check the coolant, except it is still hot, so I'm not going to be checking that and burning myself. All right, so it looks like the intake boot is loose around the turbo, so I'll probably try to tighten that up. I don't have any air fuel meters since this is done purely on map dot from Megasquirt. So it's not the end of the world to have a little bit of an intake leak there, but it's definitely not something I want. Looking at my fuel hoses, they look fine. I'll probably go ahead and change the fuel filter here in the next couple uh, weeks to a month, just next time I think about it. Let's go ahead and grease up the pivot points. So these old Datsuns use a, a throttle linkage that has plastic connectors uh, at each juncture, and mine are getting stuck whenever I floor it. I think it's actually getting stuck as it's leaving inside the car, it's just sort of sticking. So sort of looking at all of this, trying to see where it's sticking at. I don't see anything that's really the only place that I see that's necessarily binding a little bit is firewall. So as I check the throttle, it looks like realistically everything is fairly free moving. actually got this tool with um, some door pieces that I think are uh, door pieces that I got off of Amazon. I actually think it'll work pretty well to pop these little joints off. Yeah, looks really nice. All right, so right now for these, I'm just using some 600 grit sandpaper that I've got on this nice little strip um, to clean up all the bars, and then I'll sort of clean up the inside. So these little pieces, uh, this um, paint is very, very nasty and it is gumming up this really quickly. So I think I'm gonna take 
a small wire brush to it, see if I can knock off some of the bigger stuff first before hitting it with sandpaper. Okay, that definitely made short work of it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some of these surfaces with some sandpaper. These are actually already um, pretty good shape. I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up and we'll go from there. All right, so these are cleaned up a bit and I'll go ahead and grab some grease and put them back on the car. So one thing I don't like about car work is getting grease on my fingers. I don't know what it is. I've always hated it. Whenever I grew up working on a farm, I also hated getting grease on my hands. It just, it's, I immediately think, ugh, I need to wash these. So I try to always use gloves in order to work with grease so I don't have to put grease on my actual fingers. So just a little bit of grease and re-angling this piece here actually made it where now I can jam down all the way on the throttle and it releases every time. So that's good. A little bit of a little bit of grease here. Seems like it helped slip up everything. I gotta refill the oil and start her up. Fudge, 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 fudge. Oh. I bet I just made a big giant mess. Uh, I forgot to move the oil pan out from underneath the car, so now I've got a big giant oil mark on the garage floor. Uh. 